Julius Caesar was done in such a unique and unusual location. When we did it in Israel, it was done outdoors in this phenomenal crusader's fortress that was built in the 12th century. And so here we are moving it to Atlanta to a real theater that was built in 2007. So there are huge differences in that the edifice of that 12th century fortress was the backdrop for this production. And our amazing set designer, Sasha Lisiansky, he modified the set to create the possibilities that we will have here in Atlanta. In a way, we will lose the immediacy and the uniqueness of the environment, but in another way, we will gain the theatricality and the tricks that we can have in a theater. You know, normally we know how our sets go together ahead of time, but because this is a set that we didn't build, we have to spend some time figuring out what all the pieces are and how they go together. So it's kind of like having a Lego set without having the instructions, but it, it's going really well. And the pyramid is, is a big object. I mean, it's, it's huge. And there's all of these different pieces. And then during the show, there are different parts of it that open up and swing open. And then the pyramid also rotates throughout the course of the show. And so getting all of those mechanical things lined up just perfectly so that they do what they're supposed to do takes a lot of time. The one thing I love about opera is opera is a team sport. Um, I can't do my job without all of the other people who work for the company. So I'm really lucky. We have a great TD and a great production department. And same also goes for costumes even. So if I have a question, they're there to answer that. So yeah, it's just constant communication. We learned a lot during the last you know, 18 months. And I think the spirit of innovation that we had all last year in the tent hasn't stopped. We're back on stage, but it's not going back to doing things the way that we used to do them. You know, we're taking the opportunity to say, okay, how can we make it better? You know, I think that that's really cool to be with a company during a time where we're really retooling and re-innovating what it is we do. You know, Atlanta and opera aficionados in Atlanta, I love the classics. And for 41 years, the Atlanta Opera has done a lot of that. But there's also a wonderful branch of opera, and that's early music opera, works by Handel that I absolutely adore. So having an opportunity to bring the first Handel in the history of the Atlanta Opera is an opportunity that I'm not gonna pass.